this is the, I guess, finished product, I <laughs> just say, of all the different bricks that we've made. You can see one and two is on the left. Uh, these other ones are not dry enough yet for me to put a, a number of any kind on it. And I don't have anything that would write on wet surfaces. So you can see one and two. And they definitely seem to be a different uh, quality brick, for sure. Uh, that one, that with that white paper, man, you can barely, can't hardly see any verbiage on it at all. Um, number two, same thing. Uh, you can't really see a lot of the verbiage. You can see some of it, the, the darker colors. This one, uh, that one is three, and both those are four. That one is five, and this one is six. This one only uh, stood for one day in that slurry, and this actually was in there. These three uh, were in there for, actually these three, been there for four days. Yeah, four days, and then this was in there for four days. And this was in there for one day. So you can see that there is, uh, color-wise, these are a little bit darker than, uh, than this one, but not by much. I would assume that if we reuse that slurry water, it would get grayer and grayer and grayer and grayer, so they would all be the same, the same color. So that's going to have to be a test of actually saving that slurry water somehow and reusing it. I'm not sure how we're going to do that just yet. But we can actually do that once we figure out which one of these bricks burns the best, uh, burns the longest, uh, etc. So uh, lots more to test.